Keep calm. Emily Austin is back on the show. She's returned. I know everyone. You know, it was I'll a, tell you. It was I'll a tell long you. suspension, but. Yeah. <laughs> what a relief. Yeah, it was hard work. <laughs> we, 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 I think we survived. We held right? it together. We held it together, we held but together. you know The what? ratings you, you, plummeted. Yeah. The ratings just went down <laughs> yeah. the tank. Yeah. But I am back. Um, like I said, it was a long suspension. Yeah. I'm sorry again for everyone. Hey, she keeps her nose clean. Joking. We'll be, we'll be good. Yeah. No, I'm, right kidding. Yeah. I'm kidding. I'm yeah. kidding. Um, How was your time in well, I, Key West? So we were in Florida for Florida. a week yeah. doing stories on former athletes. And then it was Easter Monday. Oh, so, so you I was just back. Saw, yeah, okay. And then we had our kind of delayed honeymoon, kind of early oh, anniversary trip. Oh, delayed honeymoon. Well, because we never wait, wait. like got time to have a honeymoon. I thought that was the point of a a destination a, a wedding. Destination wedding was it? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, time out. You know how much work time that wedding out. was. Next time I get married, I am not doing. No, I'm yeah, kidding. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. I'm totally kidding. Yeah. I love you, babe. Um, it was just a lot of work. Just because I was in Mexico yeah. getting married, oh, yeah, it was a lot of work. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, but, I know you guys. This is a shocker, but it is not about me. Yeah. Uh, well, since we're on the it topic. It hasn't been the last four weeks. <laughs> no, yeah. Emily, since we are on the topic of you, and you oh, are gosh. you are really special, mm -hmm. I feel as if, like, I get accused sometimes of favor a little favoritism towards yeah. Matthew. I don't think that's right. I don't think it's fair. I don't think it's fair. But it has, and that, that I've been also accused okay. of not of, of giving him gifts. Yeah. And then I don't give you any gifts. And then right? she says she's not about gifts. And then she's not about gifts. But so my love language is not gifts. So I just I need wanted, words of affirmation. I just, I just vacation. <laughs> vacation days. It's vacation yeah. days. <laughs> Show her love to vacation. I am so, gonna miss the Emily, last April yeah. show. I, Dean and I and Reese went to Savannah for a little company trip, yeah. right? And I'm we, terrified. And and we stopped at yeah. which I think potentially, potentially from a man-made structure. From man made yeah. structure. I'm a potentially eighth wonder of the world. I think it's the eighth wonder of the world, Bucky's. Bucky's, yes. yes. Two E's. Bu Bucky's is incredible. Mm -hmm. It was unbelievable. And while I was there, I'm like, this place is amazing. So I saw something. I thought of you. I said to Dana, I think this is something that I'd like to get to get Emily. And she said, that is a great idea. Yeah. Right? So, Emily, I never get you gifts, but today. You get your very own. Oh, oh wow. Oh your very God. own. That's beautiful. Bucky's, so that, yeah, so that's the camera there. Bucky's right here, t shirt. Yeah, show the right back. There. And show then the look, back. Hey, hey, I love hey, the Emily, back. Emily, <laughs> enjoy every, every moment. Every moment. <laughs> you that's know what? Beautiful. This is going to be your lake t shirt there you for go. the summer. Oh, right my there. gosh. You are so that sweet. Is gonna be Did your, you get it for Dean and then it didn't fit her? And Bucky's. And then he clearly does think I gained 20 pounds. He was banking on it. I had yeah. that discussion. Yeah. Like, I went oh between, my gosh, I, I'm a medium. I went between a small and a medium, and yeah. I said it's going to shrink. It'll shrink. It'll, It'll shrink. shrink. And it's going to be your light t shirt. You're light so sweet. Yeah. Oh it's my gosh. Your light t -shirt, Joe so. said something mean to me a couple weeks ago, and I think he's still feeling bad. <laughs> I think about I still do feel yeah. bad. We're not so, going to bring up what I said. We're not going to bring it up. No, we're not. Um, hey, so this is a Liberty Flames. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Flame Central podcast, whatever it is, and it's about Liberty Flames Athletics. Yeah. Um, baseball just won its series over Jacksonville State. Should have swept the series, but I'll take a win. Um, that's yeah, Saturday. Yeah, a lead in the ninth mm. in that middle game. But, yeah, you take two or three. You're nine and three in the conference. That's first huge. place. And you've played three more. So there's two teams that are six and three, but you've played three more games. you won three more games. Mm. So you're in a pretty good spot. Yeah. Right. Uh, the one the one thing that if you were wanting to look at it like moving forward, all four of the conference USA series Liberty has played have been against the four worst teams in the conference. Oh. So you say, OK, but they made they made their money there. Like they've yeah, won yeah. the games they're yeah, supposed took to win. Care of business. They took care of business. It's now going to get a little bit tougher here in the back half of the right. season. Right. Yeah. yeah. Tough road but ahead. Set themselves and up on well. the road. We've seen right. how difficult so eight straight it is games to games on win. the road, I think it is yeah. coming up. Yeah. How many conference games are there like roughly? 472. Yeah, I was going to say there's a lot. Uh, I mean, like, baseball. how long will this, how long will it, this conference It goes for a while. I think Liberty has, so I want to say it might be four more conference series. Oh, wow. Yeah. At least, right? Uh, yeah. It's like four. I think yeah. three oh, or four. Oh, oh, see, remember so, when I asked if ten. everyone's I'm phone was on silent? Yeah, there's Joe yeah, Yock. Yeah. Um, so we have pitcher, hitter, Todd Hudson yes. interview coming at you in just a moment. But 
the Masters. Oh. What did everyone think? Uh, Scotty Scheffler taking home yeah, the green jacket. Yeah. You know, there was a debate going into Sunday about his wife, like, well, really the whole tournament, about yeah. his wife, like, about to have their first child. And yeah. should he play? Or if oh, she goes into oh. labor, should he leave? So there was, like, a radio show we were listening to. And they were like, if you're standing on a caller, woman, says, if you're standing on the 18th green, I don't care. If I'm going, you need to leave. I'm like, what? I don't think I would ever. Well, I've never had kids, so right. I don't know. But well, yeah, don't don't make any any blanket statements. <laughs> yet. You don't, you don't really, but yeah. I'm just like, yeah. that, I don't know. I think it's pretty cool that he's like staying and like finishing out the yeah. tournament, and yeah. it all worked out. Oh, it worked out. It worked out perfectly. For the guys getting just won the Masters. The wife's getting ready to have a baby, and yeah, that was a good tournament. That was yeah. a really good tournament. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I I was hoping that back nine was gonna was really be a yeah. nip and mm -hmm. tuck, tuck right there, but. Um, Scotty Scheffler is a stud. Is a stud. Ma it, and Max Homa was the guy stud. that I thought I yeah. thought he was, was going to make was going to make a run. And then with Colin Morikawa, I thought, man, like he's yeah. got major championship yeah. experience and has won. So, uh, but and Scotty just pulled away. You talk about it with his wife, like to be able to do all that while all that is yeah. there, it's like, happening. Like yeah. that, like you know, and golf's such a game of focus anyway. Like to be able yeah. to like kind of not push it aside, I'm sure, but be able to stay focused enough over the course of four days to do what he did. That's yeah. really impressive. And he seems like, I mean, I, he's a believer. He oh seems gosh, like he is the ultimate, like, balance, yeah. you know, personality yeah. in general, which, you know, serves him did well. Did you see what he said in the... Uh, he's uh, like, I just want to answer the question yeah, so I, I can go, go home. home. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I loved that. Yeah, no, so. but he's... It was he's good so, seeing Tiger win, make the cut, too. Yeah. yeah. I thought that was probably... Good. And see, finish the tournament, It really. seemed like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It seemed like it drained him out after yeah. his, like... Because that was yeah. the record for most consecutive he cuts like, made. he go, like, 10 over in his third round? Or yeah, then he got yeah, smoked yeah. in his third round. Yeah, but, but, I mean, at least he finished. Yeah, and, no kidding. And, you know, he, he had that long day where they didn't get to finish the first round, so yeah. it was a lot of golf, so I'm sure. I love the Masters. I love the Masters. Vern Lin Lindquist oh, last. I love me some Vern. Last one. Tiger went over and shook his hand right at the on the ball. Uncle Vern. Vern... What and Vern was in Happy Gilmore. Let's not forget. Yeah. Was he? You talk about his. He wasn't happy. You talk about one of some yes. of the great calls Shoot he had. Him Gavin. That yeah. may be one of the. I still can't finest. believe Billy made that shot. Or no, that was Billy Madison. Happy made that shot. Yeah. 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 Do, do, they're making a second. <laughs> Are they? No, they're not. Uh, no, they're not. It's in the works. With Adam Sandler. It's in the works. Oh my gosh. Yeah. All right. Well. There's nothing better when he fought Bob Barker. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh my Price gosh. Is wrong, Bob. <laughs> Price is wrong, Bob. Yeah. Yeah. Bob. Yeah. R.I.P. Uh, Bob. Yeah. All right. We have a funny story of how famous Matt Warner is. Uh, well, just after this interview with Todd Hudson. Our guest today, Todd Hudson. He can pitch. That's right. He can hit. He does it all. And let me guess, you can play pickleball too. Uh, do not, but uh, play. Oh, play. come oh, on. We can get him out there. Oh, yeah, yeah he's a we'll guy. So I mean, he's can... a tall drink of water. Yeah. He would own the kitchen. Todd, yeah, let us, six, six. You play, what other sports do you play in high school? You had to play basketball. Yeah, I did play basketball. Okay. I was actually a point guard. Uh, what? Was, what? Uh, Almost like the, point forward action. Like, wow. Yeah, uh, yeah, so I cut that off early. Uh, <laughs> last year, ninth grade, but yeah, okay. I was six, four point guard. Um, a six, four man. point guard. Okay. Wow, I'm sure Richie McKay, if he's listening, he might want to. They're looking to add some size. Have you thought about helping out? Do a pass. Uh, good shooter, uh, pretty, good, pretty good dribbler too. So. See, but can you play defense? That is the question that matters. Defense was Liberty. not my strong suit. Okay. But, uh, well, you yeah. just have to stick I've always diamond. said you score enough, you don't need to play. That's true. That's true. <laughs> oh you had pretty good handles back in the day. I did actually, very good. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. You'd shoot a little bit? I could. Yeah, could okay. you shoot the three or you're a drive, you know, drive uh, and score shoot, kind of guy? Shoot three, yeah. I kind of prefer the town perimeter, so yeah. yeah. Did you talk any bit. trash? Not a whole lot. No. <laughs> He's a good old country boy. Yeah, he is. South Carolina, right? But, Tell I mean, me he's got his boots on. I know. Are you kidding me? He brought his boots on. Uh, real cowboy around here. Yeah, that's right. You know? That's the first. Tell us about <laughs> where you grew up. Yeah, uh, moved around. Lived a little bit in Georgia. Uh, actually, in, in Augusta, uh, Georgia. Shout out to the Masters this past oh, weekend. Yeah. yeah. So, went over there a little bit growing up. Uh, loved, loved to golf when I was a lot younger. But um, lived, lived in there and then moved up to be closer to family, Lexington, South Carolina. So right outside Columbia. For I guess all my high school years, so I enjoyed it. Did That's you play awesome. Augusta National? Mm -hmm. Never did. I did the drive chip and putt, which the winner of that would have gone to play at the Masters. Oh, uh, wow. So close, but no cigar on that one. But um, yeah. Did so you that. have a solid golf game too. Golf. It, it's been a while on golf. Okay. Um, I was a driver in golf to not chip, chip or putt, but I could okay. hit the ball. I, can, I bet yeah. you could. Yeah. I bet. Yeah. Well, if anybody that's seen you launch yes. balls, you know, into the parking lot. 
I'm not surprised that you can drive. He's your captain's choice golfer. You just get everybody off the tee as right. far That's as right. you yeah. Yeah. yeah, so if you talk to Coach Scott Jackson, he wants you in the lineup no matter what. So tell me, do you prefer pitching, hitting? If you had to pick one, what would it be? I mean, I guess you don't have to uh, make a decision because you're doing yeah, both. That's but. a tough question. I've gotten that one a lot. I don't know. It just depends on the day. Um, some days pitching is more fun. Some days hitting is more fun. Um, I don't know. It's, that's a tough one. I've always, I've always done both, so I shouldn't really think of anything else. I feel like, especially like high school, a lot of guys do both, mm -hmm. right? You don't see it as much at the collegiate level. Which part of it was harder to transition to? Hitting college pitching or pitching to college hitters? Which has been more difficult? Oh, that's a good question, man. Very good question. I'd say uh, probably hitting college pitching. Uh, it's probably, I mean, I had a, played in a good region. Uh, yeah. We had, I mean, our rival had three 90-mile-an-hour-plus arms, so it was a very good area, but still... The stuff increases, the command increases, um, kind of just overall pitchability increases. Yeah. So pitching is still the same thing. You still throw the same batters. But I think when you're reacting off of them, uh, hitting becomes more challenging. When, when you're standing on the mound, what are your what are your go-to pitches? It's all it's all on the line right now. Where What do you like? Yeah, uh, repertoire has changed a little bit this year. I've thrown a lot more cutters. That's a pitch Ooh, I worked with. Um, Matt can't hit a cutter. A little bit. But I've de developed that one this uh, this offseason, so that's been probably the go-to this year nice. so far. Nice. What was your journey to Liberty, the recruiting process? What did that look like? Yeah, I was uh, probably late bloomer. I was probably more of a – Probably normal time bloomer, but everybody else was just early. But I didn't really commit. I didn't commit until August of my senior year, so I was a little bit later. Uh, had some talks with other places and kind of found Liberty. Saw got up here got on campus, saw the facilities, and was blown away. Everything the school to offer. Enjoyed talking with the coaches and kind of it was done deal there. You heard Matt Warner on the broadcast, and you're just like, so I have to go where Matt be. Warner is calling <laughs> right, my right. games. Yep. Yeah, my, a lot. A lot of recruits have said that. Yeah. My guess is, Todd, <laughs> this is just a guess. But my guess is that when you were uh, the six four point guard in the ninth grade, they weren't calling you a late bloomer. Well, <laughs> that's yeah. That does, yeah. That's now that you mentioned yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, oh, here comes the late bloomer yeah. in the ninth grade. Plus six, six four handles, four. dunking on you, yeah. right. late bloomer. Yeah. The the height was always there, but it's grown in my body to yeah. figure out the baseball skill was kind of developed really junior year. I put on twenty five pounds junior fall, wow. and then kind of from there it was kind of. Nice. Joe's put on 25 just this, just, this just, semester. Just yeah. this semester. Yeah, yeah. but that's different. Well, I um, only might have put on 25 for <laughs> okay. Key West trip. Hey, yeah. but look, that's yeah. I need my body weight and yeah. I'm high, so that's what's going to happen. And I'm coming up on a year marriage. My goal was to gain 20 pounds in the first year. I like the freshman really 15. Really test the yeah, you know? Same deal. So you got to test, test the lot. Yeah. Yep, and he's still around. So four innings <laughs> pitch. Um, probably your best outing, would you say, uh, on Sunday? Right, for sure, yeah. Definitely just need to build on all my outings. I uh, just want to get better at each one. I think I've done that. So I'm uh, pleased. People that don't get it, like, so you had been starting the midweek game, right? Like Wake Forest. Right. That's what, that's what it is. It's like here's, like, here's a list of top 25 programs or top 15 programs. Like, best of luck to you, yeah. right? And so that is a lot different than – and there's some good programs in Conference USA, certainly. But – that's a lot different, isn't it, facing those kind of lineups compared to what you faced on Sunday? For sure, yeah. I had a little experience last year. Um, I guess my first ever start was versus Duke, who's obviously a good yep. program. Then my <laughs> next one was uh, number two UVA at that point. So had a little experience with that, but it's, it's fun to, to compete. But, yeah, definitely fewer first-round draft picks yeah. in Conference USA, which is nice. But there, yeah, there are definitely some good teams, the Dallas Baptist, Western Kentucky. So there's there some good teams in Conference Western USA. Kentucky yeah. this weekend before you guys – I uh, had to VCU. Here. For quite a yeah. while. Yeah. It's going to be. Nine and, and three in conference. That's outstanding. Yeah. I mean, that's when it matters most, yeah. right? And I'm sure going against that tougher comp competition in midweek helps as well. When you're stepping in the batter's box, give me your mindset. Because when I played softball, oh boy. I would – I would just Anymore. make Stop a decision <laughs> before the pitch was made yeah. if I was going to swing or not. So I was like, really Stop wasn't it. that good. Like I <laughs> and like Stop even, it. You decided even, yeah. And then my I would be finished swinging, and then the changeup would come. You know, <laughs> it's like, like the Bugs Bunny. I, yeah, I wasn't right, very right. good at hitting. Um, so what's your mindset? It's just the in same, case I do same as yours. Yeah. Yeah. Same as yours. Yeah. Yeah. Is that the same? Is that the yeah. same? No, that, that, that does happen. Um, no, uh, yeah, we did a lot of intel, a lot of scouting reports as far as this pitcher favors this. He's probably going to throw this when he's ahead in the count. If he has runners in scoring position on base, he'll probably go to this pitch. So you kind of have a general idea of what his tendencies are. And from there, it's just kind of seeing the, seeing the pitcher and relaxing and hitting it. Um, so kind of a... A little bit of intel, also a little bit of just kind of relax and, and go, go do it. I feel like, yeah, there some guys, 
maybe want more than others. Like some, you always hear like paralysis by analysis, mm -hmm. right? You get so much information that you're thinking too much and not just reacting. Where, where do you fall in that? And are there some guys that are like, man, the less I know, the better. I just want to see ball, hit ball. Yeah, for sure. We definitely have some guys who like will get stuff on certain guys and say, no, don't tell me. I just want to go there and hit. Yeah. Um, I'm probably somewhere in between. I'm very much a thinker, so that's kind of part of the game. I've always kind of analyzed what the pitcher's doing, what he's, uh, what he's trying to do versus me. Um, but, yeah, somewhere in the middle is probably where I'm good is not thinking too much but also using my brain for the advantage that, um, that I've been given. So. But, but with you being a pitcher and you know what it's like to stand on that mound, uh -huh. right, do you feel as if you have such an advantage to, like, yeah, I'm very confident what this guy's thinking because I've been in his shoes before – and I'm most likely high percentage going to see this type of pitch. Do you think like that? Uh, sometimes, sometimes I think I'm so good a pitcher that I outthink them. Um, yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> you yeah. should have thrown something yeah. else. Yeah, yeah, right. Why are you throwing <laughs> that? Yeah. Right, right. Right. Bombs uh, right. Yeah. 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 right. So yeah, sometimes I'll overthink myself as far as like, ah, I just want that. He should throw this one, but I don't know. Um, but it all just depends on kind of what yeah. their staff is. You kind of can see some tendencies of their coaches a little bit too, what they favor, kind of the more you progress through the game and through right. the ABs. All right, Todd. So here in my baseball career. Oh, gosh. One yeah. No, this isn't about me. This isn't about me. <laughs> one thing I found that has held true is every pitcher thinks they can hit. And every pitcher at the college level that's not hitting anymore is real quick to tell you about their high school stats yeah. offensively. Uh -huh. And they, oh, they could swing it. If they just give me, a, you yeah, know, yeah, I could sure. do it. Do you have a little bit? Who's the guy that I maybe, know, don't call no, anybody no, call out. out. Who's the guy that on your <laughs> staff that oh my God. doesn't call hit but him. really thinks he's the best offensive player? That's the tough one. We have some guys who, some pitchers who really, really actually can hit. Yeah. Um, uh, ben Blair, Trey Carr, former two-way. Ben Blair, all-state second baseman. Uh, we hear about that a little bit from him. <laughs> um, and then uh, Cole Hertzler was a, came as a two-way as well. That's true, that's true. So we have some guys who actually yeah. can swing it. Guys who who think they can, but they really can't. I don't know. I don't really see too, too many of the guys. Sell somebody out. Sell somebody out. Sell right oh, right. oh, man. Just, just give me um, a name right down the river so we can I'm, just clip this. I'm going to do, do a straight trooper. Oh, there you go. Yeah. There you go. Come on, there you go. Come on, Coop. Yeah. But it's true, though, isn't it? Yeah. Every pitcher That's thinks mm -hmm. they can be doing what you're doing. For sure. Yeah. For sure. And Todd, I know that I don't know you until just now, but i tell you what. That's I've got a great Todd Hudson story. Okay. You know what it is? When I was in the eighth grade, right, um, I was at recess playing football, and I was playing against this kid named Todd Hudson. <laughs> His name was Todd Hudson, right? And we got into it, right, on yeah. the playground. Good thing he wasn't 6'4". Right? Yeah, good thing he wasn't 6'4". <laughs> we got into the playground, and Richie Flinchball tried to break up our fight. Zero chance. I tossed Richie Flinchball aside like it was nothing, and I absolutely... <laughs> destroyed Todd Hudson mm -hmm. on, on the recess. But here's the best part about the whole thing, right? He had it coming to him because he was talking bad trash uh -huh. to me, right? So he had it coming to him. And then the story got back. His, well, I had to go to the, my next class, and my next class was science. Todd Hudson's mom was my science oh, teacher. Man. So it didn't go yeah. so well. No, 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 no. Miss Hudson was cool. She got the story. Yeah. And then she, she just sort of gave me the... She gave me the head nod, like, eh, he runs his mouth too much. He had it coming to him. Okay. Yeah. So okay. that's my Todd hey, Hudson story. Transition. Yeah. What are you studying here at Liberty? Uh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Science. Yeah. My mom was a former teacher. Oh, so, so. Hey, so, yeah. this could have been a different yeah. life. Yeah. It yeah. really could have happened. You never know. So I'm um, studying business administration. So, yeah. Oh, nice. Business. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. And then, okay, so we do this My Moment series where you share your um, top moment in a Liberty uniform. Todd Hudson has, like, the most incredible one that I couldn't wait to share, but it was during graduation week. So there's so no there footage. So there is no footage oh, no of footage. it. So I want this opportunity for you to, to tell us about your top moment because I want everyone to hear it, and it's so special, and I know that your relationship with your grandfather is so special, too. So if you could just tell us your top moment. Yeah, for sure. Uh, top moment was last year, um, May 6th, at Jacksonville State, who just played this weekend, or uh, at home versus Jacksonville State. Um, my first ever start at uh, DH, first ever time hitting uh, as a starter, I uh, hit a home run. And uh, see, that was pretty special to me just because, I mean, cool moment. It was also on my birthday, which oh. made it even better. Oh. But then also just kind of from the personal aspect of things, uh, my, being able to call home with my grandfather, he was not doing real well. He ended up passing away during the conference tournament. But calling, calling back home to him and telling him about it, he'd always been asking, have you hit yet? Have you hit yet? Have you gotten in yet? I always told him no, like, not sure it's going to happen yet this year. 
we'll see. And to get the moment kind of out the blue, be able to hit a home run was, was pretty special. Nice. That's awesome. Look at that. That's, it was that's so, a great moment. so cool. And um, is it two grand slams this year? Two. For that's you? Correct. Yeah, how yeah. about that, huh? Like some guy, you maybe, if you're lucky, you get one. What? Yeah. Like a lot of guys, it seems like it goes one two or two ways. Grand slams. Guys either yeah. excel big time with the bases loaded or they really struggle. What what's that moment been like for you to feel that the, the first one I'm sure was cool. You uh-huh. do it twice, you're like, okay, like let's keep this thing rolling. Yeah, honestly, um, sometimes I don't even think about who's on base. Oh, yeah, <laughs> good, bad, and, yeah, good, good, bad, and yeah. different. Uh, I'm super selfish too. W- yeah. w- what it is, um, <laughs> so uh, I don't even really notice who, who's out there, which probably is not the best, but no. uh, it, it's it's worked out a few times. So I kind of have a general idea if I need run on third, if I need to move them in, but. Yeah. Base is loaded, kind of like that. It's just kind of go out there and hit and see what happens. And this turned out well twice. Uh, yeah, What's it like well. when you're coming down in the tunnel and all the guys are cheering? Not even a grand slam, but just a home run. It just I always want to like go run through that. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, like, it's fun. All the guys are energized and pumped up. So that's, I mean, love to see it. So. Love to see it. What's the mood? You guys coming like we mentioned first in the conference. Obviously, it's been kind of a weird year, right? Because in conference, you guys have played so well. We know you always play a really tough schedule. Yeah. Had some close losses, some tough losses mm. in those midweek games. What, what's the mood of the team right now? How's everybody feeling? For sure, I think we're upbeat. Um, we are, uh, we're positive on where we are. It's good to be um, first in conference play. I think kind of our schedule out of conference prepares us for that, playing the Dukes and the Wake Forest and those caliber teams, Virginia, Virginia Tech, kind of has prepared us for the tough conference schedule. Um, I think our toughest stretch is ahead of us too, so continuing to press on what we're doing. But yeah, I think all the guys are excited where we are. I think everything's flowing pretty smoothly with the lineup and pitching and everything so far. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go through the lineup, and you got to give us something like funny or like a good story quickly on each of them. Oh, man. Kane oh. Kepley. Okay. Y'all... He just seems like a like a firecracker. Yeah, <laughs> Kane, Kane's awesome. He was my roommate last year. He, uh, if you notice, he'll like mean mug the camera, or not mean, mean mug the dugout when he's coming around third base. It's hilarious. Fires us up every time. Yeah. But he's coming around, staring the, down, down our dugout. But yes, he's he's awesome. Okay, Tanner Marsh, the freshman. T. Marsh. He's he's a character. I don't know. Um, I don't know if I have any good stories on him. Um, uh, I don't know, he's he's a good one. Really, really good player. Yeah. Um, Aiden Sweat, the newbie. Sweaty. Uh, some of the greatest takes. His takes are. Uh, when he when he's swinging and miss and look back to the dugout, there's kind of, he makes some funny faces. So that's kind of there. You know, there are more pictures what? I found going through like the photo archives of him like screaming and making weird yeah. faces and like he seems very animated. Very very much so. Yeah, we we all it all cracks us up watching him and his takes and faces when he swing and miss by pitch by two feet. And yeah, it's, it's funny. <laughs> by two it's, feet. It's funny. Yeah. Sounds like me. Uh, Horton. Horton. Um, he's my roommate now. Okay. Uh, funny story on him. I, I don't know. Um, he burned some ramen uh, oh, fre- oh, freshman, oh freshman year. That did not go over well. Um, How did that smell? Life. Because we have someone named Caleb in the office who um, heats up salmon and tuna Salmon fish in the microwave. And, oh, yeah. All different. All we can't do that. Yeah, yeah, it was rough. kind of lingering for a little bit. We had He burned it, <laughs> then we had a team meeting like two hours later in, in the same room, so it was kind of stuck, stuck around. Uh, yeah. We smelled that one for a while. Can't do that. McCadden, McCadden right? Yeah, McCadden. McCadden die. Mac, uh, another stud. Um, Love that, Mac. I, I don't know if I have a story on him. Yeah, he's a great player. Uh, good catcher. I don't, I don't know if I have a story I mean, him. he's freshman too, right? Mm-hmm. Like it's was just supposed like, to be a senior in high school. He came right. a year early. Mm-hmm. That's, yeah. that's yeah. just crazy. Like Very whenever, mature. what was it, What was that game where he threw out like four guys? Uh, yeah, it was one of the midweek base. games. That was, was it, um, uh, Duke, I think it was. I think Duke, it was Duke, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Um, great arm there behind the plate. Cam Foster, a third. Ron, uh, real smart engineer, uh, always doing homework. Uh, that's what I'll go with on him. Yeah, that's yeah. a student athlete. Um, John Simmons. John, um, he's my hunting buddy. Uh, I don't know if I have any stories on John. John's John's just always fun to be around. We need to have you back you? after the road trips because I feel like there's yeah. going to be a lot more. Like after this long stretch on the road, you're going to have a lot more stories. Yeah, uh, to answer your question, everything. Um, yeah. Turkey season right now. I went out this morning, actually. Did so, you? Yeah, I did. Wow. Did not did not see anything, but I went out. We need to do an out of the office with you. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah. Sure woods. yeah. Um, and then Camden Troyer. Uh, Donnie Barrels, what we call him. Um, Donnie Barrels. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. I, I don't know where Donnie came from, but yeah, that's what we call him. He always <laughs> barrels the ball name. too. Yeah. So uh, that's yeah. That. Yeah. That's that's probably all I got on him. He's a great, dude. Um, all right, we, la- Sorry, go ahead. We host our, all our team Bible studies at his house. So um, I heard that. Cool. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. We're going to Donnie Barrels. Yeah. Last but not least, Scott Jackson. Oh, coach. Um, Be careful. 
Yeah, really. <laughs> I don't know about having good ones on him. I'll, I'll probably leave that one be. <laughs> <laughs> Smart guy. Yeah, yeah. Smart yeah. guy. Well, thanks so much. You guys have anything else? No, Todd, it's been fun watching you yeah. play this sure. year. And, uh, yeah, big things still ahead. It, listen, there's a lot still out there for you guys. So for excited sure. to see how you guys are able to finish the last month of the season. For sure. Appreciate it. Thanks, yeah, for, thanks for coming on. <laughs> thanks. Not sure what Todd was thinking when <laughs> Joe was like, I, about, explain, I fought I mean, a guy named I, Todd Hudson. I beat you up in, yeah. in, in eighth grade. Are you not a grade. junior, are you? Yeah, right. <laughs> you don't yeah. seem old enough, yeah. but there was a yeah. guy named Todd Hudson. Yeah. 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 Oh, man. Um, the Flames are definitely fortunate to have him. Oh, yeah. Just his great kid. versatility. Uh, what a great kid. Great. Uh, but, like, I'll say this. You get this since talking to him and all the guys we interact with. That's a really good bunch. Yeah. Like they've had some injury things, you know, especially on the pitching side, that mm. have hurt them this year. Um, but the the guys, the collective group of guys, the Aiden Sweats, the Kane Kepleys, the Todd Hudson's, like uh, Cam and Troyer, that is a really great group of dudes. They yeah. are easy to root for, and uh, hopefully they can keep things rolling in conference play. Yeah, awesome. Well, we will turn the page to the women, yeah. Lady Flames. Dominant. Yeah, I, I mean, are they just going to – they're running away with it right like now. Running yeah. away. Fifteen with this and three title. after sweeping Middle Tennessee. A fifteen and three in conference play. Only two CUSA series left for them, by the way. So they're they're cruising right now. Right. Uh, interesting thing, and I didn't realize until today, they finish their regular season with three games on the road at LSU. Whoa! They go That's to Baton Rouge. Right? To finish the regular season. How good is how good is LSU? I mean, it's SEC softball. I mean, you gotta so, think like, it's gotta uh, yeah. be pretty good. So that'll be a great test for them right heading into into the conference mm-hmm. tournament. So that's got them rolling right. There's 30 second in RPI entering the day. Uh, it's Liberty yeah. softball. So yeah, so I watched rolling. the Dot Richardson Jamie Hall interview after one of the post games they had. Dot Dot was just yeah. on with Sports Spectrum. She really? just did a big show with them, with uh, Jason oh, Romano. Ch- so look that, that up on social nice. media. They just pushed that out this past week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so the Lady Flames have won all six conference series so far this season, including three sweeps. Yeah, so, dominant. Um, but again, and they Dot- host UNC on Wednesday. They got the Tar Heels. Ooh. Four o'clock Wednesday oh, here in Lynchburg. Here. Get Four out o'clock here. I might, here. I might have to check that one out. Um, yeah. For lacrosse on the Lady side, stand on the Lady side, um, two and two in A-Sun play. Just kind of an up and down season for the Lady Flames, five and ten overall. Injuries have bit them too. Yeah, injuries. Yeah. Um, so just maybe an off year for them, but who knows? Get into that tournament. Get in that tournament. Exactly. Right. You get hot. And if things are uh, clicking at the right time, that's great. Want to also give a shout out to Nikki Parsley Blocker. She just had she her baby? a little boy. Oh, you know, he is so precious. Good. So she just posted about that yesterday. Yeah. So congratulations yeah. to the Parsley Blocker family on that. And then, um, so I'm like downtown at a birthday dinner. I'm yeah. I'm switching. Oh, I don't know this off story. The field. Yeah. Okay. So you've learned and, it right with the folks. Um, I'm just like sitting at the table, and somebody goes, "Oh my gosh, that's that guy that's on TV." Yeah. That's that guy that's on Flame Central podcast. Yeah, he's a big deal. It, wait, he's on TV with you, right, Emily? Wait. Like it's my show. Yeah. Like. He's on. My, oh, wow. I'm kidding. Not for the last I'm, month it hadn't been. I'm kidding. Yeah, yeah. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. They're like, oh, that that's Matt Warner. Yeah, yeah. And so, I'm like, yeah. are you kidding me? I used yeah. to have downtown. Yeah. Now so I, I can't let me even tell have you, downtown. You, yeah. Yeah. Let me tell you how it went down from my side. I'm walking down the street, and all of a sudden I hear this voice <laughs> ring out, Matt Warner? And I like, yeah. duck. It's like, you know, PTSD. I thought I was. Away Sorry, from the yeah. office, I left that all behind for the weekend. Yeah. All of a sudden, you're Matt Warner. Matt it's Emily. Warner? And she <laughs> walks up to me and she goes, "What do you think you're doing? Yeah, why are you on my turf? <laughs> this is my turf. This is my turf." She said, "Listen, I respect that, Emily." She's like, "Listen, I respect that. I'll let like it slide rat. this time. Yeah. You yeah. come walking down yeah. here again oh without telling gosh. me. I won't be yeah. so friendly." Okay. It was yeah. so funny because I never see Matt downtown. No, I'm and never downtown. When, you know when he's downtown, yeah. he's oh. eating one of those big burritos stuffed I, with the queso, I may loaded have had queso over A couple it. of chimichangas. And, and definitely uh, went through four baskets of chips. Easily four baskets <laughs> of chips. Like El Jefe or something like that? No, what's that El other? Jefe Mary, is, down, is it Mariachi? Is really? yeah. that what it's called? Mariachi. And then, yeah, Mariachi, El Mariachi, yeah. I think. Good, so. good um, all right, last thing, yeah. last update is on the track. Amari Lewis broke the this men's 100 program record, 10.08 seconds. Mm. Like 10.08. that is incredible. His um, me, his me, best I think was like 10.2 or something. Okay, so that's, so that's let, huge. Me, let, me, let me put this in perspective for the what? folks. 
Like your training schedule 10 for the point, mile? 10.08, okay? Yeah. So in... 1988, when Carl Lewis was winning all the gold medals for the U.S., he won the long jump, he won the 100, yeah. he won the 200, and he won like yeah. four. Wait, are they four by reading? one, right? So his time to win the gold medal was 9.99 seconds. Just to give you perspective, wow. that dude just Whoa. ran 10.08. Yeah. That's point yeah, oh nine. That's yeah, crazy. that's yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. Like, people don't realize wow. how fast that is. Yeah. That is wow. fast. Yeah. That's incredible. Um, Caitlin Lockler, our locker, um, ran the 800, broke the program record, running two minutes and four seconds. That's two full laps out of an outdoor track. I've seen Joe and do that. And 204. I've done that before. Yeah, Joe can't even one I've lap done that, that He's told me about it. Um, so, great stuff happening on the track. We're not surprised. Not surprised. Um, no. But we have some great features coming your mm -hmm. way. Kane Kepley um, from baseball. You're working on something with Matt what Williams. You, what you working on? Yeah, a uh, great piece as well this week about a, a women's tennis player who came from Armenia and her kind of background and what liberty has meant to her. So that that's a good one as well. Tell them about the other piece that's coming out. Oh well, there's a student yeah. piece. Yeah, that's a student they, piece. Tell them, we tell had them, some tell students them. come out and shoot at the JPL last week. <laughs> Oh, we so full, we'll we see what that looks Central like. Central JPL, Yard Pickleball League. Yeah. Uh, Maybe we'll going. see what it looks yeah. like. Maybe we can yeah. work it into the podcast somehow. Uh, okay, I'm sitting there so busy yeah. at work. I remember this last yeah. year around this time. I'm so busy. I'm doing a thousand things. And then I'm scrolling on Twitter when I get a little break. And I see like a JPL Flowers yeah, yeah. Masters video. And yeah. I'm like, Matt, yeah. why well, are you editing for the JPL? Yeah, yeah, like, of course you You better be hey, getting a little side. By the way, I was saying about this uh, the other day for the member guests this yeah. year for the JPL. I think we're going to bring you on site to do a shoot, oh, a little Vern Lundquist type yeah, of thing. Wear my jacket. You wear your jacket oh, as a member, gosh, and then we'll shoot it. We'll edit the footage That's in. Um, yeah. Can I be That's the probably. silent? Can I be a guest? Nah. Uh, we'll think. Uh, probably not. Uh, <laughs> hey, one last thing, because we touched on it last week, but want to give the final tally. Uh, our, oh, yes, the bracket. I'm sorry. Flame Central Podcast Bracket Challenge Champion. Uh, Ken Thompson ended up winning Ken with won. a bracket that was Ken in the won. top 99.1 percentile. Wow. Uh, so he ended up winning. Mug is already in the mail. He may have it by now. Mm. So sent him his mug. And uh, so we took care of him. Like, congrats to Ken. So what did I – I never got she to did, see what I well. finished. You know, you yeah. always do. Well, I'll give you credit. When it comes to fantasy drafts and yeah. to bragging, like, yeah. you, you really, you're good. I do my homework. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it's okay. So. I, think I don't think so. <laughs> I think you're lucky. Thanks. <laughs> hey, guys, remember you can uh, write into the show questions, yes. comments, concerns. Mailbag. Uh, mailbag. 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 Flamecentral at liberty.edu. We'll take that feedback or, um, I don't know, maybe some more ideas for, sure. for the fall season. Um, write in if you think that we should just take a pause this summer and, and just, you know, have a couple months at the lake. Great. All, <laughs> all Emily, here comes all Emily's burner account. So, yeah. 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 Actually, that's a great account. idea. Right. Hey, so thanks so much for listening or watching. Before we go. Yes. Before we go. Oh, if you're you looking so to purchase a refinance, yes. don't be afraid to call Joe Yock yes. at, not at Bucky's, at Alcova Mortgage. So we're going to go it? with uh, the website. Uh, Alcova.com backslash Liberty, save up to $5,000 on your closing costs. And at closing, we'll even throw in a free Bucky's t-shirt. Oh, <laughs> how are you going to turn that down? Oh how do you God. turn that Bucky's yeah. t-shirt? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. All right. Well, thank you so much for my we'll awesome gift. Hey, enjoy every moment. We'll see you enjoy right back here. Enjoy every moment, yeah. See you. Next week.